No one will fully understand how it's not just a flower, not even just President Snow's rose, but a sign of vengeance. Quote chosen due to its meaningful interpretation on how everything is going to change. No more battles, no more games, but a revenge. The quote speaks to unfinished business between Snow and Katniss based on her rebellion journey during the Court of Quell. The rose has a specific role. It whispers, I can find you, I can reach you, and perhaps I'm watching you now. Today I'm presenting Malcolm Jay, a phenomenal book written by Suzanne Collins. It's the third book in her award-winning Hunger Games trilogy. And this book definitely wouldn't fail to excite the readers. The story is based in a dystopian world, specifically in District 13. There's a mixture of personalities in the characters, varies from the stubborn Katniss, which we all know, to the mentally ill Annie Cresta, who was mentioned in Catching Fire during District 4 readings. The Mockingjay starts off with Katniss returning to Victor's village in District 12 as she steps into her room. It was suspiciously clean and organized. That was when she saw the rose. It sits perfectly on her table, still attached to its silky thorns and luxurious petals. She knew the game was over and the revenge has officially begun. Katniss has overcome unexpected fears during the book, completely ruining her love, trust, and dignity. Her love for Pierre never faded, but his had disappeared forever. The Pita, who she knew much about, was gone brainwashed and now controlled by the capital. With Katniss enraged by the news, as the Mockingjay, she would kill Snow by herself. But things didn't go as planned. Murders and corpses were found, and one of them was someone she loved most. When she found out it wasn't Snow's intention, but Gale's, she was broken and hurt. She could never look at Gale like before. The main theme of Mockingjay was a mixture of betrayal, revenge, violence, and physical misfortune. It's quite different from Hunger Games and Catching Fire by Katniss's maturity and revenge fight to President Snow. A revenge can burn long and hot, especially if every glass in a mirror reinforces it. This quote from Katniss really inspires that the revenge is really what Mockingjay is all about. There are much more worse games to play. Meaning, no more games and battles, but an upcoming revolution, which also leads to Plutarch's quote, We had to save you, because you're the Mockingjay Katniss. While you live, the revolution lives. The main reason why I chose this book was truthfully because of the cliffhanger at the end of Catching Fire. It was so captivating and intriguing that it w wants me to finish the last book. It shows a completely different side to characters, such as Gale and Peeta. This creates a huge twist to the entire book. However, I didn't expect it to be romantic at all due to the violence and hatred in the beginning. But overall, this was an exciting and captivating book, which really hooks in the reader. And thank you for listening to my book talk.